My parents had a homestead where we raised our own animals, grew our own food, and really tried to live this resilient, kind of sustainable lifestyle. And as an adult, that really resonated with me. In fact, my wife and I, we bought five acres of land and we decided to go ahead and build our own homestead. For me, you know, growing food in particular has always been kind of a core central part of who I am. I got a book from uh, Jeff Lowenfels called Teaming with Microbes. And in that, Dr. Ingham wrote a foreword. And her explanation was just really crystal clear and it really sung to me. She was explaining the things I was observing and give me the whys. And then from there I was hooked. And that really just kind of launched me into the career that I have today. I come from a background of you know 25 plus years in the information technology business. In fact, I was a program manager for a very large computer company. And the work was rewarding. I made a good salary and, and I couldn't complain in that sense, but it, it just wasn't my passion. It wasn't what I was really into. And so I took the consultant's training program and left the job that I had to actually run my own business. Becoming a Soil Food Web Consultant was a life transforming event for me. I get to work in a really a, a variety of different capacities as a consultant, all the way from doing microscope work and analysis to doing more research and investigation and creating proposals and those types of things on my computer to going out and actually working with farmers, understanding what they do to make their businesses work, and then trying to adopt and put in the food web practices that uh, would help transform them from conventional to biological farming. You know, they are able to see very quickly the transformation their plants go through, and how the soil food web really provides the right nutrient cycling that these plants get this increased vigor, the reduced disease and pest pressure um, on their plants. In fact, a lot of times I'll work with my clients to have them do a trial so that they can actually compare the trial using biological techniques with the conventional methods or conventional organic methods that they use today. And those trials are just eye-opening for our clients. They see those results so quickly that they're really usually gung-ho to say, hey, let's expand this trial and let's go full production into our systems. And I think farmers are just kind of blown away upon how quickly something like this actually does work for them. You reduce costs, you increase production, well that's usually just more profit margin for the farmers. And we all know farmers struggle. I mean, their margins are very, very thin. So morally, I actually feel really good about going in there and actually helping change a system to something that's much, much more positive. Soil health and soil biology are becoming part of the mainstream vernacular of farmers today. There's so much work that needs to be done to convert farms from conventional to biological farming. The opportunities are endless. You can kind of pick and choose based upon your personality and your skill sets what you want to do. If you feel very comfortable and love to be behind a microscope, there is plenty of analysis and lab work. If you like to be out fixing things like pumps and spray rigs and other things like that, a lot of farmers need help transitioning their equipment from you know, there are conventional ways to more for biological farming. There is really a lot of opportunities in today's world to be able to do this type of work. Diversity is great in the soil. I think diversity is great for the people that are doing this type of work. If you have the passion to be able to go out and actually farm and change ecosystems and change the way humans eat, then you really should look at this.